Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to remaking another uh, CM0102 Legend in FM23. And today we are doing another Swedish midfield maestro in the form of Kim Kallström. Now, before we get started, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe. I'm trying to get 400, you can make it happen. Smash like on the video as well. I've got to smash like as well. You can't just, you know, like tap it or click it. You have to smash that like button. Uh, don't forget as well, let me know down in those comments what other Champion 0102, um, you know, Wonder Kids, or maybe didn't quite make it in real life, uh, you would like to see remade in FM23. Uh, and in saying that, um, I mean, Kim Kallström's a bit of a, mm, he's a bit of a tricky one because uh, he played a fair few times for Sweden. A fair few times. I'm pretty sure when I was checking his Wikipedia, let me just, yep. Checks notes 131 times for Sweden. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we wouldn't say that, you know, didn't quite hit the heights of um, CMO 102, but let's have a quick look at him in CMO 102. As you can see here, at, uh, he he's pretty decent. He's got some, like, he just turns into an absolute baller of an attacking midfielder in that game. Uh, definitely one player who I assign on the regular, I can say that as well. But, um, but yeah, I guess we go and check him out at the start of his career. And here is Kim Kallström. Um, I think it must be the way the, uh, the dates have changed. He's, he's 14 at the moment. I may be putting the wrong one, but anyway, here we are. Here he is at, uh, Hacken. Uh, he is a, obviously a midfielder, attacking midfielder. Uh, he's competent in both. His stats are pretty good. To be honest, for a 14 year old, 19 determination, 17 natural fitness. Got a fist guy came through my youth and take a be well chuffed. Eight pounds a week, he's on. He's evasive and professional, but he looks fairly, fairly decent. Now, as I was saying before, obviously, if we go into uh, Sweden at the moment, they're ranked 20th. Now, I reckon that he may even be. Surely he's not the most cap. Now, and Andres Svensson with 148. Like I said, he did get 131. Um, he did. He did have a pretty good career. Let's not, you know, so he's a bit of a bit of a kind of an anomaly there, but, uh, you know, maybe he didn't quite, he played a lot for Monaco. Maybe he didn't quite, you know, as good as he could have been in the game. But so, I mean, it, it's a tough one because when you look at all the other people that we've looked at, they really um, peaked in that game. Whereas Kim Kallström, like I said, 131 caps for Sweden. Is, uh, is nothing to be sniffed at. Anyway, let's go and check him out in five years' time and see how he is traveling there. And here we are five years into the future with a 19-year-old Kim Kallström, and he has moved to AC Milan. Looks like he's just recently moved um, in the last year. Oh, actually, no, he's been here two years and has not played in a lot of games. Not good. Um, and he's looking really, really good. I like this dictates the tempo here. His stats are starting to go through the roof here. A lot of ones already in double figures. That vision as well looks pretty tasty. The determination as well. Uh, Tumbling reach of 16. Bizarre. But anyway, he already has two caps for Sweden and is worth 29 to 87 million. So he is looking pretty, pretty good. He played a good four years. Uh, hack in here before a 1.3 million move to AC Milan. Now, this worries me a lot. We don't want to have a repeat of what happened uh, to Tonton Zola Makoko at, uh, at Spurs, but hopefully it's a bit more game time. He is only 19, so it is, you know, mm, still got time on his side. Uh, not a lot of appearances for Hacken. Uh, obviously, seeing you seen there, it was like 14, 15, 16, starting to break in that team, 17, 18, 19. So he definitely needs some game time now. Definitely need some game time. Probably not a lot of, um, is that all? No, we want all, yeah. So May senior debut, youngest player ever at 14 years and 225 days. Uh, excellent. Um, and that's the Swedish um Competition record as well. Youngest player to score in his 17th, scored his first senior goal against Hammerby, um, Swedish Dip Team of the Week, ball for Milan, and first international cap versus Georgia, age 18. Very much doubt he's done much for Sweden. They have actually dropped 13 places, so uh, it's not really making a dent in their uh, national team just yet. Right, let's go and check him out in uh, another five years' time when he is 24. All right, Kim Kallström, age 24. He is still at AC Milan. He has 26 caps for the national team and two goals. He 
is starting to look like a very, very good player. Looks for the pass rather than scoring. Gets forward whenever possible. 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 He's wanted by PSG, so mm, could have a move to France on the cards. Physicals are off the charts. Mentals and technicals are absolutely... Mm, he looks so good. Elite attacking midfielder. Um, 60 to 179 million. That is absolutely crazy, crazy stuff. Um, like a few more goals for the national team, I reckon. Uh, but how has he gone... So he's actually obviously developed nicely. His first two years at um, Milan, he's then obviously rocketed uh, in with some more games here. Not not proper starting there, but after his uh, after that season there, 2028-29 starts starting pretty much full time uh, for the uh, <clears throat> for the Italian team uh, and getting you know chipping in with the goals here and there, getting eight, five, four, six, but average ratings are looking really. Uh, career milestones obviously we have him here uh, moving to AC Milan obviously then this is where it all starts kicking off um, <clears throat> he is your conference league winner young player of the season uh, young player of the season in Italy FIFA under 21 best men's player there he is pipping in a couple of those guys uh, to the title and Coppa, uh, Coppa Italia and Serie A champion so he is getting Good there, not really doing too much with Sweden. How are they going? Still 33rd. He is their key player, which probably means, <clears throat> excuse me, over the last, what, five-ish years, they haven't done much European qualifiers. We made the Euros, and they were terrible. Lose to Germany, George, draw to Georgia, and lose to Denmark. So not very good there. World Cup qualifiers. They made the World Cup, going to the group phase and made the second round and then lost United Arab Emirates. Oh my God. What are we even doing? Some more European qualifiers. That is disappointing. Euro championships. All oh, right, so there's the Euros. I missed those there, so they, um, that, no wait, they're qualifiers. European championships, what's happened here? Oh, championship qualifiers, semi-final, right. So they lose the playoff and don't go to the Euros. Righto. Seems why they're still in 33rd, I guess. Kim Kalstrom, 24 years old. He's got a lot more to go. Is he going to stay at AC Milan or will he move to PSG? Time will tell, and that's where we're going to go. And no, Kim Kalstrom does not make that move to Paris. Uh, Paris? Yes, to Paris. PSG, that's it. Uh, he stays at AC Milan. He is now 29 years old. Elite, no, elite attacking midfielder, model professional. We still can't click on his, uh, <clears throat> to show the best attributes, but he is, I mean, passing of 20, vision of 20. Oh my God. He should be getting assists like anything, but actually he's got, really picked up the goals this season. 68 caps for Sweden, nine goals. And he is on a lot of wedge at the moment, but he looks really, really good physically as well. Just that dribbling, finishing first touch. Wow. Looks really, really good. And here are his uh, attributes. The tributes? These are stats. They were attributes. Attributes. Oh my God. Stats from the last five years. Uh, getting more assists here with 12, but then getting in on the goals act here. Bit of a, a quiet season there, but this last season was absolutely bumper. 16 goals and seven assists, 21 in all competitions. Absolutely amazing. Uh, 15, I don't think he's ever gotten 20 goals before, but that is an absolutely outstanding season there from uh, Kim Kalstrom. Surely Milan have won the title that season. Nope, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Uh, we come back here, they won Serie A. Uh, we won it again, Coppa Italia, uh, Super Coppa winners, Serie A player of the year. Uh, another, oh, he is winning titles and winning Serie A Player of the Year a fair few times. Have a look at this. Five years in a row, Kim Kalstrom, Serie A Player of the Year. Serie A champions, AC Milan, have only just been pipped by Inter. They finished third. That's gutting, but um, really some dominance there with him um, in their team. Uh, player of the Year, we know that. No... Uh, midfielder of the season, surely he's picked up that a few times. No, it's um, what's his name? Kavishkovlani. Yeah, now that one there. 
Um, best player in Europe, runner-up. Nice. Behind Endrick, who's at Arsenal, who's 30. Cool. No Ballon d'Ors or anything like that. FIFA men's player of the season just yet. Sweden don't look like they're doing too much. Still 33rd. Oh, it has not been good for Sweden. Nothing there. World Cup qualifiers. They make the World Cup. They beat USA. They lose to Cape Verde and then to Ireland. Sweden aren't this bad. They go to the Euros. They beat Switzerland, lose to Croatia, lose to Norway. They go out on penalties in the second round of Spain. This is why they're still stuck at 33rd, because they're just not going anywhere in competitions. Uh, he is... I mean, he looks really good, but he's just his international career in Sweden hasn't quite kicked off. I don't even think he's going to reach his 131 caps uh, at this rate, but we'll go and check him out. This will be 20 years in the future from when we started. Will this still be nice in the land? Will you've got 131 caps? Doubtful. I don't even think you get 100. Right, Kim Kalstrom, 34 years old. Declined quite a bit, actually. I've just noticed here he's got an injury, and it is a hip injury. 24th of May, out for another three months. So that has really killed him. And he has actually retired from international football four years ago. He's actually going to retire for good. I think this hip injury has crippled him as well. He's a Two kilos. Jesus. How did that happen? He's a big, big boy. That's enormous. 102 kilos. Was he that heavy beforehand? He's one absolute monster. 78 caps for Sweden and only 11 goals. Would have liked a bit more there. Um, 78 caps. I mean, he retired four years ago. Pretty much just after we left last time, he, he retired. Uh, 449 appearances for AC Milan, couldn't get 450, 120 goals, but uh, mm, he is really, oh, he'd be a, such a good shadow striker, wouldn't he? Such a good shadow striker. Uh, let's have a look at his career stats the last five years there. Uh, we've got 10 goals, 8 assists, 21, oh, look at this for a, a season, 10 goals, 11 assists, 10 player of the matches, 7 and 7, 8 and 8, and 6 and 9 in this uh, injury. I was going to say injury played season, but it wasn't really just a hip injury. Did he have a lot of injuries? He's had a few. Oh, he's had a few injuries. Not that long, but he's actually had a lot of injuries. I just take his injury proneness from CMO 102, which I don't think was very high, but um, either way, um, 482 appearances, 123 goals. 107 assists, 82 player in matches, an average rating of 7.42. Really picked it up uh, in the later years. Said AC Milan his whole career as well. Whole career as well. Impressive stuff. Here we go. Oh, we've got some awards here. We've got some. Oh, he's a Ballon d'Or runner up. He's a Ballon d'Or runner up. He's a Ballon d'Or runner up. Um, there it is. Behind Endrick as well. So. Good on him. I know, you know, I know it's a runner-up, but still Ballon d'Or runner-up. He's a goal 50 runner-up. He won FIFA Best Men's Player um, in 2037 after an outstanding career um, year. That was obviously that uh, season just before we, um, we, we, we jumped ahead again. Uh, FIFA Pro, Pro Player of the Year runner-up. Best Player of the Year. He's, he's picked up that every single year. Old Kimmy. That is a really, really good going there from him. Um, the, the, the FIFA Pro Player of the Year, third place, uh, Champions League midfielder of the season. No more titles or anything with Milan. They really fell off a cliff. I uh, won a Coppa Italia, but what happened to Syria? What happened? Since they, their dominance ended here, it's just gone. Napoli has taken over with Juventus and Lazio in there as well. Wow. So um, AC Milan Stranglehold really just died then. Um, Sweden, I mean, 30 seconds. They've gone up one place since he retired. What happened in 2038? So end of the World Cup, that was it. World Cup came along and they were second round to Spain and they just they just capitulate and then with 
with no Kimi Kallstrom, they make the Euros and are terrible. In the World Cup, they're about to play New Zealand and Uruguay. It'd be ironic that they actually uh, get, you know, somewhere <laughs> without poor Kim Kallstrom. But uh, there he is, Kim Kallstrom. Maybe retiring a little bit early. We had like Ibrahim Saeed. He really powered on until his late 30s. But maybe the injuries have just slowed down uh, old Kimmy Kallstrom. And that's probably, um, you know, been a bit detrimental to his uh, Sweden career as well. 78 caps. Still can't believe it's 102 kilos. That's absolutely nuts. But uh, anyway, we're going to leave it there. And that is going to put uh, draw the curtain on Kim Kallstrom's career in FM23. Don't forget, guys, uh, if there are any uh, CMO 102 legends that you would like to see remained, please let me know. Uh, the next one coming up is an absolute champ man 0102 superstar cheat code. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.